Hello there, sweetie. Welcome to a random special I'm doing. Just generally, just to, for no particular reason. I just thought, well, I wanted to do one for, like, you getting your exams done. Exam, why do you... See, this is the second time I've tried to make this video, and I kind of feel like I, I said exam last time, and I'm like, no, that's that's bad. Anyway, it's in between shifts, so I'm probably just tired. Uh, when you've got to hand in your essay. Uh, so I figured this will either be a reward or a weird thing or something you, uh, you forget about. <laughs> just something to watch in between to just forget that you are typing away, writing thousands of words. God, you're so fucking smart. You're so good. <laughs> you're so good at writing essays. Um, but yeah, I saw a, a YouTuber of mine, maybe did this a few years back, did, did this, and I quite enjoyed it. Um, and I've been meaning to try it, and I... I just started a version that was hampered by apparently me not having an account and also safe mode. So I'm just going to start the same way as I did last time. I'm a wizard. <laughs> and my name is Colin. Colin. Colin the wizard. Right, here we go. You are Colin, a wizard living in the kingdom of Larion. You have a staff and a spell book. You finish your long journey and finally arrive at your ruin. You've been... Finally arrive at the ruin you've been looking for. You have come here searching for a mystical spell book of great power called the Book of Essence. You look around and see that there is an area much larger than you imagined. And there is there are ruins all around. A young woman walks out from a ruined building across the clearing. She looks about your age. She's wearing a simple dress. So I can say, I can do what I can say, or I can just tell them what happens next. So I'm just going to say shit. Bit nippy. Hey, it. Go straight in for the colloquialisms to confuse the AI. So essentially what this is, because I didn't explain it, is an AI dungeon. So what happens is, we create an adventure. I Like a text adventure, I will type stuff in there, and it will make up a story. Based on what I say. Or what I type. So, that's basically the premise. And I thought it'd be funny if it was stupid. Because the YouTuber I watched played it. And it was funny. But he's funnier than me. So, you know. There is that. You greet the woman. But she ignores you. Ah, like all women in my life. She then walks towards a large tower. And disappears inside. You're beginning to get annoyed. I've literally just turned up. And a woman has disappeared. If anything, it's probably not none of my business. Just do. Carry on. Forget I saw her. <laughs> just don't care. Also, there's no music to this. It's just going to be me typing and talking. You walk over to look in the tower, which is a massive and impressive structure. Like my belly. Um... Uh, it's been here a while, uh, and the mortar is mostly shot away, but it still stands tall. Uh, what do I do? I sniff the wall. Why not? You sniff the wall. As you approach the tower, you notice a smell. A rather acrid one at that. I don't know what acrid means. Boy, someone must be baking. That'll do. Also, I'm a wizard. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> Walk closer to the tower and step through some of the rubble around the base. Once inside, you see a man hunched over a cooking fire and a little boy sitting nearby. Hello there. What's up, dog? Wonder what it's going to say to Subdog. <laughs> Subdog, he responds with a voice that sounds like a mix between a grumbler and a British accent. Gotta love the old ways, don't you know? Sure do, Sweet Pea. Put do in there, Matt. Come on. Sure do, Sweet Pea. Man continues to cooking, not looking at you. 
What a rude motherfucker. Do. I turn them both into frogs and then cook them. That'll do. <laughs> the wizard turns around just in time to notice you grabbing his shoulder. Is a wizard now? It was just a man hunched. I'm a wizard. You're confusing me. Yeah, see a man hunched over with a little boy sitting nearby. Just don't, why are you grabbing his shoulder to turn him into a frog? He lets out a yelp as you twist his arm behind his back. What? what? That's so violent. Let him eat his soup. <laughs> oh, let him eat his soup. Oh my god. Forgetting words. This is why I can't... I, I, I failed so many essays at uni because I didn't proofread anything I wrote the night before it was due in. You throw the wizard over your shoulder and run like the coward you are. So I'm making assessments of how cowardly I am. You've got his arm locked in your hand. And you're dashing across the clearing in the woods. Ah, uh, dear. This is really weird. Uh, what happens next? Uh, the random woman appears again. tells uh, and shouts at the seagulls that'll do get away from me she shouts and they do ah seagulls the most obedient of creatures you step into the forest and run several feet before you stop I drop the man I am carrying and have a cheeky wank. Wankle. It's a wankle now. <laughs> have a cheeky wankle. You drop the man you are carrying and have a cheeky wankle. Is that it? You just repeat back to me what I'm doing. Say. Boy, I do love a wankle. No E. Before you can run, the wizard cries out, Get the book. You turn around to see four large men with swords run your way. What do I do? I blow them kisses and bear my ass. I'll bear your ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Why are you asking me about the AI? Go away. You bear your ass and blow them kisses because it's it's what men do. Yes. Fuck toxic masculinity. This is what men do. Your ass to them. They all charge at you. And you run with your arms out, flapping your ass. How do I flap my ass? Oh, flapping my ass. I hug these men and call them all Betty. With no capital B, I'm terrible. The men charge at you, but you hug them and call them all Betty. They keep swinging at you, but you dance around and squirm. Kick and punch wherever possible. I cast a spell that turns them into feet. Just the whole of them into feet. Which you then carry to the exit. The exit of what? The exit of the forest, I guess? The exit of the forest. Turns into a Starbucks. <laughs> and the four men turn into ice cube coffee cups. 
<laughs> they were feasts and now they're ice cube coffee cups. You order drinks and get comfortable. Yeah, sure. No, the AI understands what a Starbucks is. <laughs> Two. Read the morning paper. <laughs> Have another wankle. Uh, sure. You lean against the newspaper stand and have another wankle. Why is there a newspaper stand in a coffee shop? Uh, I rub my balls on the newspaper. Come on, give me something. Balls on the newspaper in an attempt to cure the hickey from earlier. Who gave me a hickey on my balls? Was it the wizard? The wizard that was a hunched man? I hope it wasn't the little boy that has never been mentioned again. The random woman shouting at Seagull. She didn't get anywhere near the nuts. What about the men I was blowing kisses to? Maybe they maybe they thought it was a thing. Um, say, anyone want a hand job? The cashier from the morning before, the morning before, who you have not noticed before, says, hand jobs are good, but we have a strict anti-hanky, have strict hanky, <laughs> anti-hanky policies in this store. So when do you get off? So I can get you off. <laughs> I'm a wizard, remember. Uh, cashier says we're open till noon. <laughs> Meet me in my wizard car at 12.30. That'll do. Because wizards have cars, right? Oh, it's a she. Oh, I thought it was a dude. Okay. You say, me, meet me in my wizard car at 12.30. 12.30, she confirms. 12.30, he says. 12.30, she says. 12 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30, 12.30. Do. Uh, no. <laughs> it is... It is 12.30 and I am in the wizard car with the cashier. See what it says. Let's go, I say. We get, we get in the car and put our heads back. If we do this, no one will notice us leaving. We drive off. What? I thought it was a hand job. Well, I'm guessing I was offering a hand job and a woman decided... She was up for that, and I guess she got fingered, maybe? But we're driving now. <laughs> Where are we driving to? Wizard... Wizard... Ing... Turn? <laughs> Wizardington. You say, where are we driving to? Wizardington? Not that we're driving, we're walking. You got your car right, your ride. What? No, we're in the car. What are you on about? Yeah, good. What? <laughs> this is so bizarre. Sure. We walk off into the sunset. And, uh... No, it's a do. Oh, it's a story. And our, and our eyes slowly melt. <laughs> Into the back of our heads. That's not helpful. That's really not helpful. I was being unhelpful. You're being more unhelpful. Uh, fuck the sunset. We walk for what seems like half an hour before we decide to split up. 
You're going to the local strip club. <laughs> She's going to her place. No, oh my god. No. Do you live near the strip club? Why is there a local strip club in like a fantasy setting? Do you live near the strip club? Yeah, it takes me 30 seconds to walk there. Good, walk there quickly. <laughs> Am I inviting them on a date to the strip What's going on? Ah, oh, we forgot this. There's a wizard thing. Uh, uh, what's a wizard thing? I, I will pull a rabbit out of a hat. She says, I will pull a rabbit out of a hat. We walk to the strip mall. That's not what you said. You said strip club. A strip mall is different to a strip club. You know that, right? Ugh. Fucking hell. Ah. Uh, do. Set off. A giant... Wizard bomb in the strip mall. You know, because everybody knows about giant wizard bombs. Everyone dashes out of the strip mall in a panic. You quickly take cover behind a set of dumpsters. And decide to wangle. <laughs> Got to get out of here, the cashier screams. Oh, still there. Say. Dun, da, da. Quick. Jump. On my broomstick. I know that's a witch, doesn't matter. What she says? You heard me. Let's get the fuck out of here. How? On my fucking broom stick you deaf bastard because you heard me right I said broomstick cashier hops onto the broomstick behind you hurry up and run run the fuck up that street she screams at you what so I'm just gonna run while on a broomstick that's interesting Of course, we have to catch the golden snitch. You say, of course, we have to catch the golden snitch. We run and the giant wizard bomb explodes in flames, sending bits of glass and bits of skin through the air. Skin? Oh, that's so graphic. There's like rubble. No. We don't need rubble, we just need skin. Somebody includes skin. Uh, I catch some skin and make a wallet. Yeah, sure, make a wallet. We continue to run, but the people who are chasing us begin to fire magical bullets at us. Who's chasing us? This is it, we're going to die. Do. We die. <laughs> you die, there is a sudden calmness. The people who were chasing you got bored and stopped shooting. You're free. You can now live the rest of your days without worry. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. I can live the rest of my days without worry. Cool. You say sweet. Sweet, she says. Why should you repeat everything I say? You spend a few days having sex with the cashier at the wizard mall? I blew up the I blew up the strip mall with a wizard bomb after we were going to the strip club. Oh my god. It's just... <laughs> having sex. Ah, oh dear. 
Then I was pegged by the cashier. Sure. Let's see what you're going to do with that. At the wizard mall. Then then you was pegged by the cashier. That's terrible English. You and the cashier had a son. What? I was being pegged. How can I get pregnant from that? You and the cashier had a son who you named after your favourite part of the wizarding strip mall. Oh no. So, what am I going to say? Ah. My son... Hooters. You are a hairy child. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's at a wizard strip mall. Your son is a girl? Oh, stop complicating things. She was a boy. He was a girl. Could not make it any less obvious. Oh, my God. Um... Well, that was a change. <laughs> well, that was a change. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> you spend the rest of your days raising hooters. <laughs> uh, do. Get the sun some owls. Sure. Smells. They bring you a letter from him, addressed to you. What? It seems like the cashier has been promoted, and she sends you her regrets. What? Promoted to what? What are you being promoted to? Um, <laughs> I mean, I could try and tie up this story, but it's it's really difficult. Uh, it seems like the cashier has been promoted. Oh, fantastic owl delivery! Uh, so the Royal Mail isn't a thing then. The Royal Mail isn't a thing anymore. Can't leave me. That's mean. They've been promoted. I'm assuming they've been promoted and moved away. It's mean. <laughs> oh, I didn't write mean. Oh no. You just put those out because you can't figure out what I've said. Ah, uh, I'm an angry wizard. <laughs> I'm an angry wizard. Just, I'll just say it. I'm an angry wizard. <laughs> oh no. This is why I shouldn't do this when I'm tired. You get a letter from the wizard mall. It seems the wizard bum caused some magical disturbance in the area. No shit, Sherlock. That was the plan. Holmes Lice. A wizard approaches you, and he is very angry. He says... He says... I lo love you, but I'm... Really... Angry at... My balls. For not making me a wizard instead of a lowly servant. But he will make up for it by making you a very good wizard. But he is angry at you for making him... Do what? I'm just going to try and wrap this up. The sun explodes. And kills us all. There we go. That's it. You got nothing else for me? Fine AI. Well, I just... This is terrible. It was a terrible idea, but I figured I would spend some time and do something weird for you. So, I hope it isn't just totally awful. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on. So I think it's wrapping up. It just sends me on a weird tangent again. 
So, there we go. I hope it wasn't just a total waste of your time and thing. Love you, bye!